gamers, 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 gamers. I have, this is the first attempt, or ish, kind of, that I've been doing today, today, this morning. But I am fresh, I am awake, I am, I am not tired from a full day of fucking work. I changed my teams around, I watched a whole bunch of videos this morning as I was warming up for my workout, and the only changes that I made Essentially, where last night, what you saw on stream with Bronya speed tuning her to be right behind Jing Liu, so that I could use the Jing Liu team in the first phase and clear it in five waves. So I cleared it in five waves, right? I cleared it in five waves. And then I was like, now I have Ruan Mei, who is probably the best support in the entire game, with Ting Yun on Don Hung, and I wanted to risk the Bailu plays. Because Rua Mei and Bailu on the same team, Rua Mei makes Don Hong be able to break everyone's weakness, right? Right? And it delays their actions by an incredible amount, so that she's basically a second support character, a second, like, sustain character. Which is peak, because Bailu can't debuff cleanse. So I was taking a big risk with that, but we got pretty fucking lucky in who was attacked and who was, uh, whatchamacallit, it and, and whatnot. And, and... With Rua Mei, we were allowed to fucking two-cycle the first wave of the second phase. Like, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Okay. I'll show you all the builds after. But this is, this is the situation, right? That we were in yesterday. We have a Rua Mei ultimate. I think. Let me check. We have... Benediction buff. We have Rua Mei Ultimate. We have Rua Mei Skill. We have the break effect increase. And we're about to have ult. We are 10 off of ult. Right? So we're gonna have a full full fucking skill from Don Hong right into an ultimate. And Kafka has minus three defense, I think. Minus 24% defense reduction. This is once again the exact same situation we were in yesterday, but she had 30 health instead of 21 health, right? So let's uh let's 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 cue up some music for the occasion. Let's uh let's 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 cue up some music for the occasion. I'm really hoping this kills. We are in the same exact situation as yesterday, with the exception of her health is lower. <laughs> Please, Don Hong, if you do this, I will max all of your traces to 10. <laughs> I'll fucking do it. I'm probably gonna do it anyways, but... Because <laughs> this, this entire journey, oh my god, has made me appreciate Don Hong. At E0, free to play light cone. <laughs> Even more than I did before. I already loved him. And that's why I rolled. But now. <laughs> he and Jing Liu will be the reason I clear MOC 12. Please. Please, Don Hong. I will Finish this Don Hong! Go! Yeah, baby! Woo! Let's fucking go! Yes! Yes! MOC 12 cleared fully free to play! Oh my god! And I started way fucking later than all these goddamn streamers did. I started like three or four months after the fucking game came out. Get fucking ran. Let's fucking go. Finally! Jesus Christ. Mama didn't raise no quitter.
This is the bill, by the way. We got Hua Hua on the Quick Pro Quo so we can get some extra energy. Traces, we eventually maxed out for ultimate, other are 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, Relics, not fully maxed out, but like, decent. Decent amount of HP, good amount of speed. We upgraded Bronya last night, right? Uh, we've switched her Relics around. Her fucking helmet is still like level 5, but we don't talk about that. Her damage is solid, 160 is like the minimum that you want. Uh, but I got her speed up to 136 so that she could be right behind Jing Liu and buff her up a bunch of times. Uh, Traces, 882, because this one's kind of shit. I don't like that one. Yeah, we're short of the relics. Eidolon, Eidolon won. There was a point where that came in clutch in the first fucking battle. And we got Jing Liu, 143. Shit ton of crit damage, shit ton of crit rate. We're using the Destruction Light Cone for Arlen. I think it's S3. Uh, because Don Hong's using the Free to Play Light Cone. I want to get Jing Liu's Light Cone. Eventually. But it'll depend on if she gets fucking paired with Acheron. Kind of suck, but oh well. 10 10 10, fully invested. Relics, mixed pieces. Um, This I still need to upgrade. This is not very good. It's kind of shit. Um, but eventually, yeah, I'm gonna keep forming Ruin so I can get Ching Chui, Don Hong, and Jing Liu good pieces. If we get a piece with crit rate, I'll probably give it to Don Hong, and then Jing Liu can get this crit damage one. Um, so those are the pieces. Crack door. We. Mixed around pieces for Asta, because I wanted to try Asta in that first phase because they were weak to fire and we needed the speed boost so we could have or take more turns in each phase. And it did help, it did help a lot. And I, I leveled up Meshing Cogs last night to try it out. Wobo was not wrong. It does make her get her ult like every two seconds and it's actually insane. So, like, pretty shit. Relics, not that great. Like, you know, just trying to prioritize. Getting that speed breakpoint or whatever. And having the main stats. And the energy regen. That's all that really matters. We have the boat, the goat, Bailu, who I invested so fucking much into. And I was like, god damn, there's too many fucking enemies with debuffs and MOC. And it's literally cucking us. I hope they buff Bailu in the future, man. I hope they buff her so that she gets some kind of debuff cleanse. Because that would be. That would be fucking amazing. But pretty good build. Pretty fast. 887. Pretty much all of our freaking things maxed out. Or relics maxed out. Energy region rope. All that kind of stuff. She's got 60 effect resist. That's what we were trying to go for on this. So we can get the max amount of boost from this thing. Ting you! Dance, dance, dance. We got her to that 161 speed. Uh, 882? Question mark? Yeah, something like that. Not fully maxed out, but like, you know, getting there. Not even too much attack. We had like a decent amount of attack, but not like that much. We didn't have the 2k minimum that Global recommended. Pretty much everything maxed out, except for a chest piece. Chest piece is a defense chest piece. We kind of went tank Yoon instead of attack Yoon because. She kept fucking dying. It was annoying. The GOAT. The absolute legend. He has now earned me farming fucking Trace materials for the next 20 years to, to get him maxed out here. I'm gonna max out his Trace as a 10, 10, 10 because of this performance. And so, we got Don Hong. Um, we've had Don Hong since he first released. I loved his character. I loved the story with Don Hong. It was insane. Really fucking good crit ratio. We're running slow Dan. We have good attack. Light Cone is the free to play one S5. 8886. Pretty much everything else maxed out. We're gonna tend to Tem eventually in the next like coming week or whatever. And then we'll probably 
start building Black Swan more, I guess. And then... Very broken set. The only two pieces we have is are the planet set and this, like, 12% attack. But the subsets are just too good to pass up. Like, look at these fucking rolls. I think Don Hong, at this point, is my, like, highest rated thing on Relic Score. Kafka was highly rated, highest rated for a while when she had the follow-up set on her. But then I switched over to the fucking Defense Ignore set, and it ruined everything. So, whatever. Whatever, oh well. The only thing that I want to improve on Don Hong... Like, true, it would be nice to have the actual, like, imaginary set, or the, the, the Musketeer set. But I don't think I really need it, considering we just fucked that shit up with, with him. And... The only thing I need are better boots. I need better attack boots. Ideally, with this set, so we keep the attack percent increase. But, like, all the attack, bo attack boots that I've rolled for him on this set, or just in general, like, I don't have any attack boots with pure record damage currently. I think I've rolled all of them. See? None of them are attack percent. All of them have been shit. <sighs> They've been, like, this bad. So, I mean... It is what it is. I can't do much about it. It's just RNG Relic Luck. This piece is fucking insane. All of it rolled in the group, right? Literally, literally everything. And I think it was a three-liner, so... That's why there's only four rolls. We got this piece literally yesterday. Which all of it fucking rolled into crit damage, except for one flat attack roll, which is insane. Um, But everything else, like... This one could be a little bit better. Two rolls went into freaking defense, unfortunately. This one's pretty goddamn insane. Everything went to attack for it. Everything in this one went to... There was nothing it couldn't go into that was, like, bad, except for flat attack. But flat attack is, like, not that bad. So, really... Looking for crit rate on this thing. And then some... Better fucking crit rate rolls. And literally any crit rate rolls, everything went into flat defense and, and HP for settlements. This sucks balls, but oh well. But the GOAT, the absolute GOAT. So is Jing Liu. Jing Liu is just, oh my god. I know Robin's like, fuck Jing Liu, she kills her team. You don't understand, Robin. She just five phased consistently. Like, you don't understand how hard that is on fucking MOC 12. Like, she cut through them like butter. And then we have the absolute goat the, that allowed all of this to happen. Ruan May. Her fucking relics aren't even maxed out, guys. She's so broken. I have the three turn ultimate strat because I was lucky enough to like magically get this S5 as I was just doing other pulls on other characters. I don't think I might even got a copy when I was pulling for her. Like, yeah. It's uh it was very lucky we got that. 888, don't feel a need to increase the 10 or whatever. This could be nice, but we're at that. I think we're at the break point, 160. Yeah, we're at 164, so we're at like the, the sweet spot. And that was our build. That was the team comp. So last night you saw me attempt it over and over and over again. And for the past few days, I've had Branya on this side. And I had Ruan Mei on this side, because I didn't think I could clear it fast enough in like five cycles. But we made the Oss, and we had Pela. We had Pela on this team, and we tried Pela on this team, it just was not fucking working. Probably because the MOC buff was literally minus defense, so like there was no point in triple double stacking minus defense or whatever. So. What are the changes that we made that made us ultimately able to complete this? We swapped Bronya over to this team. We put Asta on this team to make the speed go faster. We changed Bronya's speed so that she's actually behind Jing Liu and goes twice in the first cycle and, and pre and like subsequent cycles after that. So that she could actually boost Jing Liu multiple times and generate skill points effectively. We put Huo Huo on this side so we could get the energy regeneration for Jing Liu to get her ultimate multiple times or more times than usual. Um we put Balu on this team, which was a huge risk. A huge fucking risk. But it helped to break this person's weakness. And it helped uh, generate skill points, because Balu is like pretty much completely skill point positive. Especially if you have, um, you know. 
you have enough uh, investments or there are rare times where she has to actually skill, but most of the time she's in basic attacking. If you have an energy and regen rope on her, like, you're good. Still three or four turn ultimate or something like that. Uh, Ting Yoon. Switching Ting Yoon to this side with Don Hong was a huge game changer. I went and watched back the Global Certified Don Hong video to see, like, why this felt so good and why it was so important to have Ting Yoon on this side with Don Hong. So there's, there's really, like, two two options, right? You either get Don Hong's light cone, and then it just fixes your ener energy regeneration problems, or you run an ER rope, which fixes your energy regeneration problems, or you run Ting Yoon, which allows you to get a two-turn ultimate, usually. Especially if you have a three-turn Ting Yoon rotation, which I don't, because I don't have Vaughn Black or Panacani with the appropriate stuff on it. And by the appropriate stuff on it, I mean the speed substat rolls. The stuff that I stole off of Asta were these two Fleet of the Ages rolls, and both of them have six fucking speed substats. So that allowed us to push the 161 and get three turns on the first cycle and a few of the cycles after the first cycle. Like, that's insane. Like, that's game-changing. Because it makes her generator freaking ultimate faster and whatnot. Um, Dance Dance Hits made it so that we could advance forward a lot of times. And it was super fucking clutch. Especially to avoid the debuffs and the dominate shit. It was really annoying. We got super lucky. Uh, and then Ruan Mei. I hadn't tried Ruan Mei on this side. Except for the very first time I was clearing this. When I was clearing with a dot team. Because I was too scared I wouldn't be able to clear this phase fast enough because it's two fucking waves and it's scary and it's awful. <laughs> but, because we magically got Bronya E1, because we magically speed tune Bronya to actually be in sync with Jing Liu, it made it so that, and because we got Asta here, it made it so that we were fast enough, we were doing enough consistent damage. And Quoho was allowing us to do enough ults so we could stay in the enhanced state longer. Everything just kind of came together in a culmination and made it so that we could do this. And we did it by the skin of our teeth as well. In addition, it makes it much easier when Don Hong had two cycles per turn every single cycle because of the path buff. So like, I don't know if this is probably not going to be like a viable strategy always, but like in this case scenario, playing with it so much. He was able to go two times every single cycle and kind of like pop off because of that. And we could play the skill point positive generation around that. So, that's where we're at. We finally did it. I'm gonna get off now and uh, go work out. <laughs> Actually, no, we gotta claim this. But I just wanted to, I wasn't gonna stream it because I just wanted to practice to see where we were at, but like that was the run, like it happened. And I was like, I had to stream this so that people believe I actually fucking did it. Because I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, have a fabulous day. I'll be streaming comp tonight with Daniel and Star. So that'll be super fun. Um, yeah, like I said, have a good one. I'll see you guys tonight. Peace.